Hi, I'm Gail, your Palm Plant Girl, and this is the Secret Coffee House. It's winter time here in Nebraska, but at the Secret Coffee House, it's springtime year round. Hey, this place started in 1910, and they're still going strong. But for the first time, I've convinced them to start selling fun plants. Not only is this a Secret Coffee House, but it is a huge greenhouse. Like three or four greenhouses, as a matter of fact. Come on, let's go inside. Follow me. It's been cold and rainy here in Nebraska and snowing too, but as you can see inside this greenhouse, it is nice and warm and beautiful. The flowers are blooming. Look at that spider plant. It's been like that all winter long and look how gorgeous it is. When you enter the greenhouse, you're just overwhelmed by all the colors and all the freshness, the springtime like weather inside of this little environment. It's very spacious. There's different rooms to go into and you can have your coffee or your lattes or cocoa or tea or whatever right there in, in the flowers and the beautiful spider plants and all sorts of plants that she has growing there in her indoor garden. Rosalie is the name of the lady that owns the place along with her husband and I'm sorry Rosalie I can't remember your husband's name right now uh, but they do uh, propagate their own plants and this is one room where they do all their propagation and isn't this wonderful pretty soon within the next few weeks all these plants will be ready to sell now I'm regretting not bringing pond plants for this nice lady we'll fix that We actually want to see the baby. Take that pinky out of her mouth. <laughs> Aaron, do you like smoothies? I think you do. Oh, and you vision. Now, a wonderful big greenhouse like this, you would want to purchase your greenhouse supplies at a greenhouse supply store. But for the purpose of our little greenhouses that we're building, just going to a regular hardware store is just fine. And for the colder part of parts of the country, you'd want to get six milliliter thick uh, plastic sheeting, double insulated, so double it over. And you can also insulate with bubble wrap. Now, there is a certain kind of bubble wrap that is specific for greenhouses, and the bubbles are about one inch wide. And I thought that was a really cool way to insulate your greenhouse. Notice how big and beautiful all these plants are. And it's cold outside, but it's warm inside. This time of year, this is April, and she doesn't heat. Even though it's kind of snowing and raining outside, it is plenty warm inside with the plants. It has its own little ecosystem going. These are some of her starters. They'll be ready soon. But she does heat the place and there's her heater when it gets to be sub-freezing temperatures. She does run the heater. But most of her heat she depends on natural solar heat coming right through the rooftop. Check it out! In each one of these milk cartons, this is so cool, is PVC pipe. You can cut your PVC pipe with a simple PVC pipe cutter. I do it all the time. Sometimes I use it for branches. Anyway, and milk cartons, soil, PVC pipe. Stick your seeds in there. And let's check it out. Think she'll mind? Check it out. This is so cool. Just a section of PVC pipe. That's about four inches. And when your plant's ready, you pop it out, stick it in the ground, and you're ready to go. And, uh-oh. Am I in trouble? I can't get it back in. Oh, there we go. Natural insulation. This particular person breeds irises from seed. Can you believe that? 
Okay, well, we're in Nebraska where it's still winter, but it is springtime in California. Can you hear the rain? I think it's a rain and sleet going on outside, but it is still warm in here without any heat. I love this idea. I'm going to do this myself. You just watch and see. Heaven, I'm in heaven, and I wish this great house belonged to me. And so, Rosalie, your family has owned this property for how long? For 40 years. Mm -hmm. We came back from Colorado. My husband was a county agent in Colorado and horticulture, and we came back here in 1972. And we've lived here ever since. The greenhouses were started in the late 1800s. The store was incorporated in 1910. So this is our 100th year anniversary. That's neat. It is the oldest continuously operated greenhouse in this quarter of Nebraska. And it is also the largest. Uh, we have uh, always raised everything. When we bought the store, we were shipping roses to other parts of the United States and our nations and moms. And, the big joke when we were raising our teenage daughters was that you had to, if you dated a Hoff girl, you had to go put the moms to bed before you could go out on a date. <laughs> and uh, we just gradually found it was cheaper and much uh, more cost effective to, to get them from other places. And so we stopped raising them. But we do raise all of the bedding plants that we sell in the springtime. And we mm -hmm. do now, again, raise cuts that we have in the fall mm -hmm. in our store. And it's a wonderful little community. I love it. That's why we came back home. And we, uh, two of our children live here, and our son has the coffee house. You can walk through that if you want to. Um, it's a wonderful little community full of wonderful people. And um, it's struggled like all small communities. Oh, yeah. But it will come back and be stronger than before. I know it will because it's happened twice in the 40 years that we've mm -hmm. lived here. Everything in life is cyclic, oh, yeah. and communities like ours are different. Yeah. We had an air base here during World War II, and it was one of the largest in the bases, and it's going to have its whole oh, other, we put a cemetery out north here, uh, that will be the first state military cemetery, and it's mm -hmm. going to open in August. And a lot of the people that were here during the base years, after they retired, came and put their families here, and have stayed through the years. And we have a lot of my classmates, I must have 20 that have come back and retired here. Yeah. So it's a very nice community for older people. It's very senior and happy. Oh, I have certainly enjoyed it here. This is like one of the most beautiful stores I have been in since I've been here. It's, it's we gorgeous. Should be here We'll, we'll take pictures in seconds. I look forward to that, and I'm going to send you some pond plants too some, for your water garden. I want some. We'll do that, <laughs> and we'll take a picture. Yes. And we'll try to keep the cat out. Oh no, I love the cat. Well, but she likes to play with the pond. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very oh, much. Yeah. And hugs. 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 <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Stay in touch. <laughs> This has been such a wonderful visit, so if you're ever in Alliance, Nebraska, I really encourage you to visit the secret coffee house right behind Safeway. And if you're interested, I am available to come and talk to your clubs, um, churches, any events and groups. So give me an email, give me a call, and all the information is on my website. Thanks for watching today, and Bella also thanks you too, the greenhouse cat. I better throw her down before she scratches me to death. I'd like to say hello to Heather Binns and all my new friends in Alliance, Nebraska. Hey, everyone. Well, I'm Gail Gates, your Palm Clan Girl. If you have any questions at all, send me an email. I'd love to hear from you. Hey, you have a fantastic day, and keep on being you. And something's tickling my ear. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.